salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Shout out to all the bros out there that are avoiding marriage, okay? First and foremost. Now, in this clip that you're going to see here, and big shout out to Philip Scott Show because I did take this clip from the Philip Scott Show. He always comes with some valuable information about women sometimes and how they're happy to actually return to the streets. And of course, when I see clips like this, of course, I got to bring it to the fellas over here on my channel as well. But you have these women out here that marriage is 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 a joke to them. OK, now, when anybody gets a divorce or an annulment, which I believe this is because they were only married for six months. But after six months, they got a divorce and um, the lady, she returns to the streets instantly and she's happy about it. Like she's with her cousins and. One thing I like to tell men out there is that women are women is not women is not marriage is not a serious thing for women this day and age. It's literally only a tool that's used as a 401k plan if they can make it past that point where they're able to get something after getting a divorce. But for the most part, women don't care about marriage this day and age. They really don't. They act like they do. And some women will play their role, but all in all, most women like being in the streets. This is how they live. This is what they want. This is what they want. And me personally, I tell the ladies all the time, welcome back to the streets. Us guys out here, we welcome you with open arms. Now let's get right into the damn video. So this is the cousin that's been divorced, as y'all know. We're going to celebrate her. This is me and my outfit. Excuse that bathroom. This is my other cousin. And yeah, let's, let's go celebrate our divorce, B. Yay! What is that? And I, and I want to stop it right there real quick. The funny part is like, some I'm not saying women got to sit up here and be down and out because they've gotten a divorce or an annulment, okay? I'm not sitting up here saying women got to mope around, but you have their cousins or these women's friends that just got divorced. They sit up here and egg them on to be happy. And some of these women may want to sit down for a while and not do anything. I'm not saying that's her in this case, but you have women that really have friends like this that are really bad influences on them and they be egging them on. They sit up there and egg these women on to do wrong. Not saying she's doing wrong. I want to make that clear. But I'm pretty sure a lot of guys out there, when you dated women before or you've had a girlfriend, you knew that she had female friends that would try to pressure her to go out on a girl's night, have her talk to other guys, keep it a secret because girls can hold secrets until they go to the grave. And these girls will be right up in your face talking to you like as if you're like y'all best friends as well. But they will sit up here having your girl or knowing that your girl is doing the most devious things. Even your boy M.A.B.W. I've been through that when I was younger. Like with a girlfriend I had, her friends would be out there with her knowing she was doing wrong. But they will sit up here, lie to, uh, lie to me. Not that I was sitting up here questioning them, but... They will lie and make it seem as if, oh, y'all the best couple in the world. Y'all got everything going good for yourself. And y'all know y'all egging her on with the guys that y'all deal with, having y'all guy friends talk to her as well. Like if these girls are dealing with guys, they would have those guys' friends talk to her as well and try to get with her knowing that she had a man. That I'm telling you, man, like your boy got a wake up call real early in life for the most part when it came to women at least. I got my wake up call real early in life. And that's why I like to spread the messages that I bring uh, put on my channel. I like to spread these messages to young men so they can just at least see women's nature. You, 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 you might still get married. You might still have a girlfriend. You might still have a children, but you, you still might have children later on down the road. But the thing is, it's at least good to have this in your head so you don't face heartbreak, sadness, want to hurt this lady of yours or hurt yourself. And that's why I talk about this stuff to young men, because some young men out here, they go through the ringer and they take stuff like this really, really hard. They take stuff like this really, really hard sometimes. Now let's continue with the damn video. I tried to get a cute little video because body was tea. We went to a steakhouse in Chicago. This was nice walking. I know you had your 
let them all go. And most women and it was so face, nice. So like, it was the perfect but this is so vibe, ambiance for a divorce party. Cheers to being single. Cheers. This was our food. It was so good. And then, by the end of the night, baby, she, those hills was walking her. Let's stop the damn video right there so you can see her, her, her she got twisted. She can barely stand up in her hill, so that's just what it is. But all in all, I want to know, men, is marriage really worth it this day and age to you? Do you think it's worth your hard effort to go out here, work overtime? Because some of you men out there, you were you will bust your butt. You will put yourself in debt. You got to remember something, guys. Men are actually putting themselves in debt for marriages. The lady, she doesn't have to put herself in debt. You're the one that has to buy the ring. You're the one that has to pay for the wedding ceremony. Most of the time, men have to go all out for these uh, for these weddings. And remember, it's everything's monetary because women, they care about how expensive the ring is. They care about how much their wedding reception costs, the, the wedding in general. They care about all this stuff. They care about all this stuff. So you come in breaking your pockets. And when you leave out, as far as getting a divorce, when she divorces you, your pockets are back in the same predicament that you started in. Men are out here busting their butt for these, these marriages and things go south all the time. 50 to 60 percent of marriages end in divorce. 80 percent of women initiate divorce. This is a statistic that most men out there need to know. They don't know this, and that's why we continue, continually beat this inside your head. Most of the men that come on these platforms like me and say the same type of thing, we continually beat this in your head. You have to remember, marriage for most women is a joke because they know they can walk in it with something and they can walk out of it with something. Either way it goes for them, it's not going to affect them. Marriage isn't going to affect women. Divorce isn't going to affect women. And actually, divorce is going to be uh divorce is going to be a better thing when they do divorce. It's going to be something better for them because they can walk away something, walk away with something. It's like it's like the old saying, like this is how I look at divorce. It's like some the, like artists out here that are rich. They're better, they, they make more money dead than alive sometimes. Like, think about it like that. These women get more, they get more from you when they divorce you other than or rather than when they're married to you. They get way more. They get way more. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Would you continue to get married this day and age or is it just better to stay single or have a girlfriend, not cohabitating and have a happy life? Because I don't believe that it should be a happy wife happy life for men. That's how most men are living. I got to make her happy for the rest of my days while I sit here in my so-called man cave in a house that I bought. I got to get this little section and I got to make this lady happy. No man should be living like that. And I stand by that. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.